see you. Quite all right, Dennis. Nothing can spoil my mood today. I've got some good news. Guess what? I've been promoted. I'm the new Deputy Assistant Supervisor of Sticky Tape. That's brilliant, dear. Yes, once I've done the Sticky Tape training course, it'll all be confirmed. I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, I hope so. There's one other thing, though. The new job's in a different part of the company, in Drano Town. What? Drano Town's a dump! Well, yeah, it's certainly too far to commute. We'll have to move. Move? We can't move. We like it here, don't we, Nasha? <laughs> and in Drano Town, we'll be able to afford a better house. But there's nothing wrong with this house. It's as solid as a rock. Hmm, that'd be nice. Though we'd have to sell this one first. And, and another thing. What about Curly and Pieface? All oh, me friends are here in Beano Town. Oh, don't be silly, Dennis. You can always make new friends. Anyway, dear, well done. Drano Town, here we come. Huh. We'll see about that. Bye, dear. Enjoy your course. So I see. Well, it'll certainly make the job of the neighbourhood watch a lot easier. <laughs> I'll say. According to my calculations, we spend 89.6% of our time chasing Dennis. Indeed. But let's not count our chickens. Dennis is a Beano Town boy through and through. I don't think he's going to go quietly. <laughs> I'm just off to the shops, Dennis. OK, Mum. And remember, the estate agent will be bringing people to look at the house later, so just stay out of the way, OK? <coughs> Curly, alert Pie Face and get on over here. It's time for Operation Stay Put. Yeah, here we are. It's a nice, quiet neighbourhood, as you can see. Oh, I hope so. When I meditate, I must have the right vibrations. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. This garden is speaking to me. It will be my peaceful sanctuary. Yes. OK, boys! One, two, three, four! <laughs> But you did say you wanted, uh, uh, vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, boys. She won't be moving in any time soon. Uh, garden's not bad. A bit tame for my liking. OK, hold your noses, everyone. Here goes. One of me own patented extreme stinker stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I like to get out in the fresh air and get back to nature. Oh, what's that? Ugh. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dennis is trying to put people off buying his house, is he? Time to mobilise the Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee. Now, as quickly as you can, deploy the sticky tape to create the perfect parcel. <coughs> you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Kennel Warden! Oh, she's scary. Yeah, but she's got one weakness. Her pet chihuahuas. Yeah, this is it, Mrs. Uh, Barkington Wagstaff. I think you'll find it's uh, deceptively spacious. Well, it looks nice from the outside, but is there enough room for my little babies? <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, Nasha. No! <laughs> <laughs> You little fellows! Oh no! Not so fast yet, Chep. It's Walter and the Colonel. They're going to ruin everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't mention it, madam. It's what the neighborhood watch is for, isn't it, Colonel? Of course. We always like to look out for our little doggy friends. Even monsters like that one? Oh, don't worry about him, madam. He'll be gone when they move. Hmm, I see. Well, with dog-loving neighbours like you, this might be just the house for us. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside? Don't worry, Jen. We'll come and visit you in Drano Town. That's not even funny, Pie Face. No, it's not. And anyway, I'm not beaten yet. I'll think of something. I'm just calling your father. Oh, hello, dear. How's the course going? Oh, uh, quite well, I think. Marvellous. So what time will you be back? About four o'clock. I am looking forward to coming home. Me too, dear. See you later. <laughs> oh, dear. Dad will be back at four. He's looking forward to coming home. We've got to do something to convince Dad to stay here, Nasha. But what? <laughs> Hang on. Mum says he's looking forward to coming home. Maybe if he got a really big welcome back, he wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, we could sing a song and, and put a banner up and... No, wait. I've got an even better idea. The kennel warden likes the house, Nasha. She's coming to look at it again at four o'clock. But I'm going to make sure she doesn't buy it. I've got a foolproof plan. <laughs> Just as I thought, Walter's fallen for it. Red alert, Colonel! The kennel warden's looking at Dennis's house again! At four o'clock! Excellent news, Walter! Yes, but the trouble is, Dennis is planning to put her off! Don't worry, Walter. He's not the only one with a plan. We'll make sure she stays and Dennis goes. Four o'clock! That'll be her! Right then. Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee, quick march! Just as I thought, Nasha, Walter and the Colonel are pulling out all the stops. Welcome, Committee, roll out, red carpet! Freeze Lovely cake. A red carpet, too. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Welcome home. Hello, son. How have you been? You know what, Dennis? I was already having second thoughts about that job. And now to come home to a welcome like this. Well, how could we possibly live anywhere else? Result! Well, sticky tape's not all it's cracked up to be. And let's face it, I'm a rubber band man at heart. You don't mind not moving, do you? Of course not. If you're happy to stay here, so am I. No place like home, eh, Dad? Exactly, son. There's no place like home.
Dennis, oh, I'd blame that new joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right. I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> to the joke shop! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ha Ha! Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> cool. Oh, hello, Mother. Oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless... <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day! You mean... Play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get Pie Face and get down to Mr Ha Ha's. We've got an emergency. <laughs> oh! That'll be mother. Quick, hide! Mother! Hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy, the taxi was smelly. This is it? Yes. You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! <laughs> ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. A uh, mallet, a clamp. Oh. Hang on, Mr. Ha Ha. I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. That's one. Oh, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh. Oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. Hmm. Uh, of course, he'll need to come back for further.
further treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say, in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> Psst. We've got a problem, Dan. Look outside. <laughs> Oops. Uh, 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 we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um... Telescope. Telescope? Telescope? Hmm. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey! Uh, he's suffering from uh, the concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. I think he might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... Mm, maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha-Ha! <laughs> oh, Of course, a uh, thermometer. Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, a, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vets in training! Uh, that's us! Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school? <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. Ahem. <coughs> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet. And I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. Uh, ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? Can this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha. My favourite. Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked. Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet. Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doodles. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, obligatory wigs, hats, itchy powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God, that's hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum... Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> Very amusing, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Mum 
and Dad. Dennis? We have someone we want you to meet. Oh. She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Uh, uh, Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr Squidgy Widgey would. And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. <laughs> Look, he's smiling. Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing any more of this. Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the Talk It Through teepee. And the contemplation kennel. <sighs> and we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. <laughs> Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, oh, good to go. See you later, Den. You'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? <sighs> I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... <laughs> time, Denny Rainbow. And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> OK, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can.
can, Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. You got to take a note to curl him pie face. Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yogurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know. If he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right! You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, is going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walter's, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me! I'm Brainy! Can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter? Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Den. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Of course not, Dad. <laughs> Result! <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. <laughs> oh, well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. 
Let me see now. While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, he managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> flatten Parkyballs' as prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh, it's no good. There's not even anything in the extra super emergency fund. How am I going to get Mum a Mother's Day gift? I know. She likes music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na, na, na. Brilliant! Yeah, Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah. She'll wake me up! Stop that horrible racket at once! So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but... Uh... Hurry it up, Curly! I'm getting a crick in me neck! Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. I can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your Mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. <sighs> Really good pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! the trick. This'll be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. Good Good There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Wow! A Wayhe Games console! <laughs> and the latest game for it! Superbike GP Battle of the Champions! Oh! Thanks, son! See what it got me? 
Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Tennis, how lovely. I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day. Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble. I'll believe it when I see it. We'll just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. Tell you what, Nasha, we'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice, quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hmm. Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey, my hat! Hey, what the? Must be caught on a root or something. So then he said, "Pardon me, Al. Is that the cat that chewed your new shoes?" <laughs> 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 Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. No, let's all just calm down. I won't be back till Sunday. 
Are you sure you can look after yourselves for an entire weekend? Of course we can, dear. No problem. Don't worry, Mum. You just go off and have fun. I'm not going away to have fun, Dennis. It's a yoga retreat. It'll be very hard work. Remember, Gran will be coming over tomorrow to help with B. Yes, yes, Mum. We'll be fine, won't we, Dad? Of course we will. We're a team, <sighs> me and Dennis. Now, you just get going. Enjoy yourself, dear. We'll take care of everything. Curly, we're working on a uh, project. A school project? Uh, sort of. It's a pie thing. Ah, mathematics. Pi R squared. Mm, could be squared, Dad. <laughs> or it could be round. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this here, Dan. My mum's banned me from our kitchen. Not surprising, seeing as your last pie-making effort blew out the windows. I just used a bit too much yeast, that's all. Hang on, here's the instructions. Uh, Insta Pie, the pie in a box for delicious pies in seconds. Just add water. Just add water? Boring. I'm going to find some stuff to spice it up a bit. Come on, Nasha. Dairy-style whipped cream, lemon-flavoured pie-making product, meringue-type pie-topping stuff and pork sausage flavour enhancer. Pork sausage flavour enhancer? Isn't this meant to be a lemon meringue pie? It's not just for us, right? It's for Nasha too. <laughs> Never heard of lemon meringue and sausage pie before. There's always a first time. <gasps> Dennis, what did you just add? Bulk foodstuff super booster. Well, it's super boosting the pie right out of the basin. Quick, to the bathroom! <laughs> this stuff's magic. All we need now is water. Oh! <gasps> Krishna Vashti Rubber Spine Pose is a level one exercise designed to bring about total relaxation. So clear your mind and just relax. <laughs> relax? Oh, easy for you to say. <laughs> paper clip was designed to fasten labels to garments and textiles. The double bend single manifold paper clip was a great step. Dennis! Invented by Hiram E. Hitbox in 1975. Dennis! Whoa! 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 Ladies, we move on to the inverted lotus blossom. Look deeply into your inner self. Think beautiful thoughts and let yourself go. <laughs> running smoothly, I see. No problem, Gran. If this isn't a problem, Dennis, I'd like to know what is. Uh, where's B? 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 <laughs> mm, mm. <sighs> Curly, pie face, help me clean her up. Gonna 
blue! That's all we need. Now, Clonby, that's enough of that nasty stuff. I'll find you some nice chocolate. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. You're in big trouble, Dennis. Hey, what am I saying? We're in big trouble. No problem, Dad. I've already got an idea about cleaning up this mess. No, it was one of your ideas that made this mess in the first place. We'll clean it up my way. You're lucky your mum's away for another day. Just get this. Oh, it's good for fathers and sons to bond. I don't want to overdo it, though. And anyway, they might need me. Dennis, guess what? I'm coming home. Right now. Well, this yoga thing isn't as relaxing as I thought. And anyway, once you've done one inverted lotus blossom, you've done them all. <laughs> oh. So I'll be back in a couple of hours. Just in time for you to make me dinner. Mum's coming back. Well, of course she is. She lives here. No! I mean now! She's catching the next train and she wants us to make her dinner. Well, what are you waiting for? You will not get cleaning. I'll head her off. You push it. Now, you just... Oh. This isn't working, Dennis. I have an idea, Dad. On anyone before. Oh, they call it the inverted lotus blossom. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It doesn't look it. But don't worry, I know just the thing. We'll find you a chiropractor. A whatopractor? Someone will give you a nice soothing massage. <laughs> It's working, Dad! But will we get it finished before Mum gets back? I told her we were going to look after the house, not totally trash it! This isn't the way home! Where are you taking me, Gran? The hospital! Like I said, you need a chiropractor! No! I just need to be home with my family! We can't let Dennis and his dad see you like this! Think of the shock to their systems! Hurry, Dennis! We're running out of time! There's nothing else for it, Nasha! You've got to help me! <laughs> you do the stairs while I do upstairs! <laughs> See? I knew you'd like pork sausage flavour enhancer! office is closed until Monday. Just take me home, Gran. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we could try somewhere else. Take me home! OK, but I've got a feeling you're not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's so good to be home. <laughs> Yoga classes are fine, but there's nothing like coming back to your own lovely, peaceful home. That was close, Dennis. Too close, Gran. But at least everything's under control now. In the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. Except, perhaps, a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I 
will now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. This is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. You guys coming? Oh, taking a canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya! Uh, Mrs Creature! Colonel! Yes, many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me! Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. What is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it! <laughs> Looks like they want to race! <laughs> Faster! Stroke! 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 <sighs> oh, oh. Uh, hi, Walter. What's up? Pull that canoe over! I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest! The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, we may have a problem here. Go back! <laughs> so stupid! Why do you have to do that? Oh, oh, I don't think it's been old town. Janice! Janice! <gasps> Curly! Oh no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Children are missing. Oh, we have to call the authorities. 
species. There's no time. Squid could be eating their brains as we speak. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! <laughs> Time to have some fun! their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. OK, there's one care in the world. You mean, no dinner? No pies? We're starved! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it... Oh, it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <laughs> yes! Almost there! Finished! Ha! Oh, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued! Which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> oh. Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. <gasps> Hi, face, wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. under control. I declare this land carnal country. Ah! 